such a time as this. And welcome, welcome to For Such a Time as This in our new studio. Welcome to Such a Time as This, where there is no such thing as a silent witness. We're going through the book of Isaiah in our Sunday school, and oftentimes as we're going throughout the book of Isaiah, I say, oh, that'll make a good video, and then I forget. But this week, I started to write it down. And so here is what we went over within the last few weeks in our Sunday school. It comes from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 55, 1. Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me. Eat what is good and delight yourself in rich food. Isaiah the prophet, he is preaching, he is teaching to those who are confused spiritually. And so look at the, the word plays. Look at what he says. Come to everyone who thirsts. Come to the waters, watch this, and he who has no money, come buy and eat. How do you buy when you have no money? How do you eat and buy when you have no money? Come buy wine, milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? You spend money for that which is not bread. Clearly, in the uh, the Old Testament and, and in biblical language, when he says, come to the waters, Buy, eat, buy bread without price. He's talking about real spiritual food. And look at the context. True spiritual food you can't buy with money. The waters that satisfies the soul you can't buy with money. You can't do it. And so what he's saying is that which truly feeds the spirit cannot have a price tag attached to to it. And in verse 2, he says, he asked a rhetorical question. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? Do you understand the implications of what the prophet is saying? If you spend money to get it, it's not true spiritual food. If someone puts a price tag on it, God is not in it. True biblical teaching, true spiritual food does not have a price tag on it. I wonder, that's is that why Jesus never, ever, ever, ever charged for his teaching? Is that why Jesus never put a price tag on raising the dead, feeding the 5,000, opening the eyes of the blind, making lame men walk, deaf men to hear? He never charged a dime. The apostles never charged a dime. Paul never charged a dime, yet you have all these things in our culture, masquerading as true food, masquerading as spiritual water with price tags on it. Once you put a price tag on it, God's not in it. Not my words. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? Your lay and you labor, your labor for that which does not satisfy. He is describing false ministries. He is describing charlatans, charlatans masquerading as true godly people. Here's how you know. Don't pay for it. And if someone is asking money for it, it's not from God. And I hear the questions all the time. Well, it cost. It it cost. It costs for all the hotels. It costs for all the, the media and the propaganda. and It costs for the posters and the, and, and the advertising and the marketing. It costs. It costs Jesus and his apostles to travel. It costs the apostles to travel. But they never charged money for it. They never said, I will not teach. I will not preach. I will not heal. Unless you pay me money. God always makes a way. He always does. And for those who want to put a price tag on the gospel and gospel teaching people, it's not from God. 
It's not from God. The godly will never charge for the gospel. And that you can bank on. Such a time as this.